On the approach hill inspection, the pre-trip inspection, you want to check to make sure that the vehicle is it's not sagging or leaking, sagging or leaning if there's no spillage of any type of food underneath the vehicle. On the approach to the vehicle, we're going to make sure when we come up to the tag that the tag is intact and secure. We're going to come down to our license plate, make sure the tag is in place and not missing. We're going to come up to our grill on the vehicle. We're going to make sure the grill is intact and secure. Working our way over from the right side of the grill, we're going to come over to our headlights. Headlights intact and secure, the lens are in place and not missing. Come back over to the left side. We're going to look at our left side lenses, headlights, intact and secure, the turn signal, intact and secure. We come up to our fender mirror, intact and secure, it's not broken. From this point of view, it's intact and we're not sure if it's working until we get to the other side. We come up to the hood. We're working our way across the hood to make sure the hood is not bowed, it's intact and secure. Again, we're coming back over to our right side fender mirror, All right, intact and secure. We come up to our windshield. We're going to check our windshield to ensure that the windshield is not cracked, broken, or missing any type of way. We're coming down to our wipers. Our wipers are intact and secure. We don't know if they're operational until we get inside and actually turn the vehicle on. We come up to the, our clearance lights, which are on top here next to our lights. We can't see them right now, but we're making sure they're intact and secure. We're coming down again to our West Coast mirrors. We're looking at the convex and the West Coast, intact and secure. This is the right side. We ensure that the left side is the same order, intact and secure. Moving back, we're going to take a look up at the air dam to make sure that it's not cracked, broken, or missing any type of way, and it's intact and secure. All right, upon opening the hood, we want to check to make sure that the hood spring is intact and secure that keeps the hood in place. We're going to work our way down from the hood spring back down to the air intake, which is on the front of the radiator. It's a charge intake. Intake comes down to an intake turbo. Intake turbo in turn also is fed air from the, from the air cleaner itself into an intake. At the intake, you have an intake turbo and you have an exhaust turbo, which pulls hot air off the exhaust manifold and it all goes out to the exhaust system. Working our way down, we have an oil filter system that we add oil to it. In order to check our oil, we have to pull this dipstick like on any vehicle. And the oil is supported by a water cooler, which is a uh, water pump, which is right here. We're working our way down from the water pump down to the frame. We're gonna follow the frame back as far as we can see through this opening to, this, to the back of the cab. At the frame, also the frame is supported by a shock, which is part of the a, a spread suspension system. The shock is supported and supported by a, a sh uh, spring, which is connected to the axles by two U-bolts. The spring is also supported and connected to the frame by a back hanger and also a front hanger. The spring entails is supported by a air chamber which supports air to the to the brakes and the air is fed into a brake air line to the chamber back to the slack adjuster back to a push rod and they're connected by a clevis pin and a cotter key. Moving on from the outside even though we can't see it it has a brake pad and brake drums in here which is supported and hid by a dust cover which ensures that it's kind of clean at all times. Coming back to the top of the tires we're looking at the drive tires, I'm sorry, the steer tire. The steer tire, we're looking at the thread depth of it, the overall appearance, which is like an ABC. You want to make sure, ensure there's 430 seconds of thread on the tire. Make sure there's no abrasion, cuts, or bruises on the outside of the tire. We're coming back down to our outside rim. We're making sure that the rim is not bent, cracked, or any kind of way. We have a valve stem here to ensure that it's proper inflation. If it's not, we have to check with a gauge to ensure that it's proper inflation. We got a number of lug nuts here, we have to ensure that all the lug nuts are intact and secure and make sure they're tight. Also, we got a hub oil seal here that we have to ensure that it's hub, enough hub oil in there to keep it from locking up and keeping it from heating up. To check that, we're going to need to pull that cap out, either look at it physically or put the tip of your finger in there to engage and make sure that it's properly oil sufficient. Also on the right side of the engine, we have an alternator and we have an AC compressor. And they're both belt driven. That's one of the things you have to indicate on there if it's belt driven or it's shaft driven. Moving on to the front of the vehicle, we have a fan. We have to ensure that all the blades are intact, they're not broken, cracked, or missing any type of way like that. And again, this is all belt driven inside of here. And we got a fuel, I'm sorry, we got a coolant filter, which also.